Hello, and welcome to a statue review of the Supersonico concept figure rider suit version thing. That's a very long title. In front of us today, uh, we have a statue, obviously, of Supersonico by the company Furyu. Now, obviously, I don't think it's just Furyu that do Supersonico statues, but um, this is my first Supersonico, so I'm actually quite excited. Um, so this is the concept figure line. And correct me if I'm wrong here, but I think it's basically kind of Supersonico wearing different outfits. I think there's like an 80s workout version. It might not be the same series. I may be wrong. But um, yeah, so we're going to take a look, basically. On the side of the box is the alternate angle of her, uh, which we'll take a look at, obviously, when I unbox it. The back um, just has some, like, info in Japanese and stuff. Uh, I can't be asked to read it. And the side has the same as the other side. And the top and the bottom are the same, and have this very pleasing kind of supersonic rider suit kind of thing. That has like race flags and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to crack this box open now. Uh, the top three things, I'll pull her out and then maybe assemble her. I don't actually know if she comes fully assembled or not. Anyway, BRB. I've heightened the camera a little bit there. I've undone the three bits of plastic tape. Uh, hopefully that's all. Alright then, let's pull her out. Uh, let's see if she's... Ah, okay, I don't think she is assembled, because kind of reminiscent of the prize figures and stuff I've opened before. Eee, there we are. So we're going to have to put her on the base at the very least. Uh, actually, I think the rest of her is assembled, I think, actually. Indeed, yeah, so she comes in basically two parts, her base and the figure herself. Right, I'm going to go um, attach her to the base then, and then we'll actually take a look at the statue. All right, I'm back and I've taken some thumbnail shots for the video, as you can see. Uh, and indeed, we have assembled her. So this is hands down the easiest uh, statue I have ever assembled, I think. Literally, there are two things in the bottom of her shoes and you kind of just press them into the base. So we'll, we'll start from the bottom and work our way. Ooh, this is not the most secure. Um, now, I, I do have mild worries that this will bend in time, but I don't know. Um, so first off, just to say, this is a fairly cheap statue. Um, this came to under £30, which is less than $40, I guess, or nearly $30, maybe a little bit more. So it, it's far from an expensive uh, statue. But as I said, this is my first Supersonico. So I thought I'd tr start out like small, and if I really liked it, maybe work up the more expensive. So the base, uh, nothing is really going on there. Uh, I'm going to move this to the side because it's picking up a face for some reason. Now ah, let's try and focus. These are her shoes. So the this one has like a thicker base because obviously it's meant for a stand as well. But as you can see, it's uh, filled with hearts and lots of pink and pastel shades and stuff. A really cool. Um, yellow kind of effect kind of thing here, which is the under padding maybe, or something that bikers possibly wear, I do not know. Um, the helmet as well is really cool. If I tip this upside down, we can see a cute symbol of Supersonic on the back there. And uh, turning it round, so we've got the visor and stuff, and um, we've got two little uh, blue things at the front. Also, it is pretty cool that um, it is concave inside. You can sort of, you could put something in there if you wanted. That would be very weird though. Um, and yeah, so we got her hand. Uh, these are her like arm protector things or whatever. Yet again, lots of heart motifs and stuff. Um, that's her other hand in a kind of cute pose and stuff. Uh, and then we go around to one of the two most important parts of the statue. Um, so, Shout outs to the people there that have the like leather indentation, the kind of um, marks that show there's some pressure being applied because uh, my goodness, what a large amount of pressure this spike suit must be facing. Uh, that is a very well sculpted, yet again there's kind of a bit of uh, layering there to really accentuate the um, dimensions of this individual. And we'll work up, so there's the hair, the hair is very nice, uh, it's slightly shaded, so the kind of tips are a little bit darker, whatever. Um, I don't know, we've, we've got some nice casting of the hair here to make it look like it is actually hair and stuff, is all kind of flowing. 
And um, the face, of course, is, is pretty darn good. And again, this is the lower end statue, so obviously it's not going to have the same fidelity as one of those like $300 ones. But honestly, for the price point, this is looking pretty darn good. So the fringe and stuff again. And of course, we move on to two of the most important parts of Supersonic, or her headphones. So um, the headphones are really really pretty darn detailed, to be honest. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure the more expensive things and stuff will add a bit of more, like, uh, shading and texturing to the silver, whatever. But as it stands, the these headphones are really nice. They're sort of, like, very small details and stuff, but it genuinely does... I don't know, it kind of looks like a decent pair of, sort of, actual headphones. We've even got the, sort of split there for the uh, metal things and the strap over her uh, head. Also, down here, now I do have concerns because the racing team that she's racing for, clearly um, Supersonico, as you can read there, which is uh, unfortunately uh, split in the middle there. Unfortunately, it does seem whatever team she's racing for hasn't taken, um, taken a full fitting of her dimensions because a racing suit shouldn't, um, shouldn't zip down like this. There should be secure throughout the race um so i think whoever's her manager should really have uh really have a word with her or she should have a word with them rather to see if they can adjust that um but, but of course there is yet again some more dimensions i can't quite angle it well but there we are so we've got the kind of uh the pull of the fabric understandably so um that zip that zip is doing the spider-man from spider-man 2 by holding on to that train because that is a it's a darn strong uh, zip there. And of course we have uh, some of the zip material, quite well moulded as well to be honest. Uh, you know, it, it looks exactly like a zip. And also I am really digging the kind of, um, the printing of the supersonical thing on her um, chest area there. That's, it, it kind of, it shines and stuff. Um, and I know the rest of it kind of does, but the black specifically kind of stands out. It does look like a racing suit. Um, admittedly, I'm not very much into bike racing, so I could be completely wrong there. So, that is an overview of the Supersonic Rider suit version. Um, it's quite a quick one, to be honest. But yeah, honestly, I'm thoroughly impressed with this. So, uh, you know, full full transparency here, the reason I did get Supersonic is... For a while now, I've kind of felt my anime statue collection has really lacked on the waifu front. Um, and I've always wanted to get some Supersonico statues, but I don't know, for a while they were always really expensive. And I, I never felt confident enough to drop like £150 on a statue that I may like, but I don't know, I may not. But honestly... This is perfect. I may have just missed out on the other really low, uh, low price, affordable ones, so that may have been my bad. But I don't know. I I kind of really like this as well because a lot of the supersonic ones are, and I, I'm I'm sorry if this sounds blasphemous here, a little bit predictable and plain, kind of like they're sort of bathing suits or sort of like a one piece or whatever. And don't get me wrong, they're great. I I very much appreciate statues like that. But, um, I don't know, this just kind of screamed out to me because I, I have a lot of shonen um, statues as well. And I think this kind of blends with it. Because this suit, even though it is clearly for the fan service, it is skin tight for a specific design reason. Um, it, it still could kind of fit with, I don't know, like My Hero Academia in a, in a weird kind of sense. Um, but yeah, everything, everything that I wanted from a Supersonico statue is here. They have modelled all of the correct parts incredibly well. I mean, they have years of experience. Why wouldn't they? Um, and yeah, and I, I really like the um, pose and stuff because it's not straight on. It's kind of over the shoulder, but you can you can change it a little bit. I mean, you can have more kind of like... Depends if you're a uh, plot or backstory kind of guy. But I mean, admittedly, straight on does look a little bit odd because she, she's facing away and... You know, displays don't quite work like that. But, you know, you can you you can mess about with it. Um, and that about wraps up my review. It's quite a short one, but all my statue reviews are, really, because, well, they're in one pause. You, you can't do much more with them. However, stick around, because I will be doing a um, photo, collage, slideshow, whatever the hell you want to call it. 
I'll maybe like throw in a few of my other statues for scale wise. Um, the rest of them are ban presto, so they may scale differently because obviously this is Furyu, and honestly, this box is I think the biggest statue box I have. Um, so I'll, I'll put them side by side and stuff, but I'll give you guys some close ups um, for specific angles and stuff and put some music to it or whatever. But yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I will be doing other videos in future, probably probably statue ones, and to be honest, probably another Supersonic or, or two, because I'm, I'm really happy with my purchase. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll leave a playlist because I've done other statue reviews, if that's your thing. Also leave a random video if you guys want to watch it. And until next time, goodbye!